Hey Don all, welcome back to our Draft Stars review for round eight. I'm just gonna start with the Broncos game up against the Sharks to start us off. And you know, spoke about Talakai being a, a superstar player to pick in this one. He's a lot more expensive. Uh, you could build your team around him. He didn't go so well. Also said you can build your team around Pal uh, Palacia, who's been super consistent, getting over 40 every week. And he had a shocker, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I spoke about McInnes and Reynolds being great options, and, and you know, they were in there at 52 and 56. You know, Nico Hines could be the other one if you want to spend that little bit extra. He got 66 there. Uh, but they went right a little bit more, the Sharks did. Uh, I spoke about Farmworth as being that cheaper option as well. Unfortunately, just my extra picks, the, the T. Wiltons, I went for him. He's been scoring really well, and he didn't uh, as well this week. And then Moylan was okay with 25. You know, the, the team that won this you know, snuck a Walters pick in there, which you know wasn't to be expected. Uh, when he got extra minutes this week compared to what he got last week. So that was that. Move on to the Titans and the Panthers. So about, you know, sitting around middle of the pack on this one. There's a lot of week, a lot of games this week where unfortunately I had someone go off injured or, you know, not get the minutes that we would have thought they did. For example, and, you know, Spencer Lanyu didn't uh, go so well in this one. Liam Martin a bit lower than normal. Cleary was obviously a must-have, but you see the winner here had Greg Marzu with just under 70, which was really, really cool. Uh, the, the Tunga and Crichton uh, combination was okay. You know, you know, Stephen didn't go as well. This game was a bit strange compared to what we thought. Probably thought a few more, uh, a few more points for the Panthers. Went for Fisher Harris in this one. I thought it was a, a decent pick, and that came off. And then Eric Clark for 43. So we obviously weren't too far off. It's just one or two picks there that did well. And if you got to kick out with it with a try, then you did well also in that one. So just a bit of middle of the rung in that one. Just that couple of picks, you know, that you need to do really well. Unfortunately, it did not. So that's okay. Same thing, just above middle of the pack in the uh, Rabbitohs Sea Eagles one there as well. So we picked Isaiah Tass, and he came up uh, trumps there at 9K, which was nice. Uh, we went for uh, for Cola there. He got 26. Yeah, if you went to a Pelot too, that was a really, really good choice. He yeah, obviously really cheap as well and had his best game of his career. So if you picked that one over, you know, Cola, that would have worked well. DCE, the must-have. Murray, you know, he scored less than Tommy Burgess. It was a bit of a strange one for him, obviously getting dumped on his neck uh, and coming out and, you know, still playing the rest of the game. But I go to 55, which is solid. But I, I went with Lawton, obviously, and him going to be playing 80 minutes in the back row was a killer. If he came out and got a 40, I would have had a really good round, somewhere around the 150th mark. Uh, which we would have expected from him, it just didn't happen. And Sipley had a lower game than he did last year, uh, last week, which is completely fair. Uh, so what well to this person here? I only had the Kepi as a lower one there. So yeah, most of the picks went pretty well. It was just that one that Lawton that, that killed us on that one. Moved to the Warriors and Raiders. I missed a couple of games in here. Um, it didn't save my team. Or, and then one of them, I wasn't able to get a, a chance to make uh, one when I was out on the weekend. So we had this game here with the Cowboys, uh, sorry, the, the Warriors up against the uh, the Raiders there. Very close game, and I went with um, Dejan Arce, and, and he scored pretty solidly with 33, which was cool. Uh, Sean Johnson and Reese Walsh were two guys that I thought would have had a much better game, and Walsh had his worst game of the season. If he gets anywhere near like a 45, 50 that we would have expected, similar to Johnson, again, such a low score. But the rest of the guys were, were solid. Tavanga, we probably thought, thought a little bit more from him, and Tarpane is, uh, is one of his lower scores as well. Sutton was okay. Adam Elliott was a great pick at 10,500. So, yeah, again, a few guys that just uh, unfortunately missed out on, on anywhere near their averages, which would have been nice. And you can see here that Jackie White had a great game as well. So picking him over Johnson would have worked out in this one. And Ewan Aiken had a, had a blinder as well, which he's been scoring in the mid-30s lately. So, yeah, a little bit out of the ordinary for, for that one, but, but did really well, obviously, there. All right, a couple more to go. And we got the Knights versus the Storm. Uh, to round out our second last game of the week. And, and you know, we, we spoke about Xavier Coates and Nick Meany being guys to, that could have really good games this week, and, and they both really did. And you can see uh, if you picked all uh, three of those outside backs, you had the, the Meany, Oldham, and also Coates. I spoke about all of them being decent options. It was just how you sort of, you know, how you fit them into your squad. You know, going Oldham over Paps in this one, or even Meany over Paps would have worked out better. You could have spent uh, a little bit more money elsewhere. You see, for me, I lost to Aso Sua. Uh, unfortunately, you know, straight at the start of the game. And then Crossland didn't play as many minutes as we would have thought, especially with, you know, Sue going uh, down injured. So that was interesting. Frizzell had his lowest game of the season. Hughes had a lower one as well. So just didn't, you know, the, the picks that we uh, have spent a little bit less money on to get the Paps didn't work out, unfortunately. Uh, Bromwich was solid, but if you went for a Munster, um, a, a Grant, something like that in there, you would have done well. And Clemmer was great also. So yeah, just did not, our, not our best game, this one. And the last one, was the Dragons West Tigers. I had a pretty solid game there. Picking Hastings as my, you know, to, to play the, to work my team around was lovely at 85 points for him. So if you went the Hastings-Brooks combination, 
you would have dominated these. Or yeah, this person put Hastings and then Brooks in the flex. You know, they got a great game out of Lucy Leilua, yeah, Stafford Toa, and Anofa Luma. So I went from Suli Anofa, which was great. Musgrove, really, really good at that cheap price. Had his best game of the season. Maguire could have been a little bit better. Same with Chulangi. Uh, and offhand Galway with 51. So obviously it's just a really high scoring game. So if you if you combined all that together like this team did, uh, you can see I wasn't too far away with my 115th for a, a nice return, thankfully, to round out the week. So overall, the last you know three weeks there, I'm, I'm still up a fair bit in terms of my winnings, but this was uh, not such a good one, uh, down probably like 50 bucks in this one. So not too bad after winning a fair bit the week before and a lot the week before that. So that's that. You always see this Matt Golding up the, up the top for the last bunch of years I've seen that. So yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed your time playing over the weekend and I wish you all the best of luck heading into round nine. We'll see some videos from me uh, from Thursday onwards. Good luck at all guys and gamble responsibly.